That's right, it's Bull Tie Friday here at News Channel 8. I'm Junior Garcia, and here are some of the stories we have for you tonight. Pedestrian dies in vehicular accidents. Youth Wise Up Workshop and John H. Woodson students build green homes. These stories and more up next on News Channel 8. Channel 8 is brought to you by Body Beast. Call in the Virgin Islands 1 800 458 6815 for Body Beast. This program is the real deal. If you knew me a while ago and you see me today, you'd be like, man, what are you doing? I'm doing Body Beast. I decided to try Body Beast because I was looking for something different. I wanted to lose weight at the same time gain muscle. It's easy. In our top story, at about 8.20 p.m. on February 5th, 911 Emergency Call Center received a call of a pedestrian being struck by a vehicle on the north side road in the vicinity of Agape Medical Center. Virgin Islands police officers were dispatched and upon arrival at the scene discovered a Hispanic male whom appeared to be in critical condition. Ambulatory services were called and transported the pedestrian to the Wang F. Louis Hospital and Medical Center for treatment. The preliminary investigation into the matter revealed that the motorist was operating his motor vehicle from north to south on Northside Road in the vicinity of Agape Medical Center when the pedestrian walking on the road was struck by the driver of the vehicle. The pedestrian later died from his injuries. Details on the incident continue to be investigated by officers with Traffic Investigation Bureau. In other news, the Virgin Islands Police Department through the Office of Chief of Police has tasked the Criminal Investigation Bureau for which the youth investigation is under with the implementation of a juvenile curfew violation initiative which began on January 30th, 2015. This initiative will be conducted in all areas of the island where there are large congregations of unsupervised juveniles. The objective of this initiative is to focus on monitoring the activities of minors during the hours of 5 p.m. through 1 a.m. in Sunny Isles, Sunshine Mall, Christiansted Town, Fredericksted Town, and any other public access areas where large congregations of unsupervised juveniles are taking place. Minors or juveniles under the age of 16 who are found in violation of the law will be picked up and transported to the police station where they will be processed and their parents will be called for them. It's important for parents to be responsible and know where their child is at all times. Meanwhile, February is nationally recognized as Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month and the Divisac Community Outreach Specialists have planned a full day of workshop activities for young ladies and gentlemen to address issues that affect them. Now here is Executive Director of Divisac, Kanuma Simmons Isanison with the details. Good afternoon, my name is Kanuma Simmons Isanison and I am the Executive Director for the Virgin Islands Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Council. And we are extremely excited and pleased to announce that so far we have over 170 participants registered for our Youth Wise Up tomorrow. And the Youth Wise Up is basically an opportunity for us to have conversations with our teenagers. So the event is for ages 13 to 17, both male and female. It will be held at UVI for the Great Hall, um, at the Great Hall, sorry, between 10 a.m and 3.30. Um, as we speak, we have incoming registrations and we welcome them because uh, we want to have this opportunity to talk to our youth about issues that affect them, uh, including domestic violence and sexual assault because it is happening amongst our teenagers. Um, and February is actually Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. So it's such an appropriate time for us to have this discussion. Um, we're going to be excited because we have community partners such as Women's Coalition, Men's Coalition, Interchanges for Young Boys and Girls, um, several other speakers, Boys and Girls as well. They'll be 
be there to help us um, enhance our, our message. We'll be talking about issues such as sexting, which is very common, um, social media, the myths, uh, the facts, the pros and the cons. So we'll be having all of those conversations tomorrow. And we know that teenagers have lots of energy. So we're looking forward to that energy. And we're also looking forward to having our keynote speaker, Senator Samuel Sanis, um, who has always been very supportive of our work in terms of legislation uh, with the VI legislature. So he'll be giving his perspective on his role and also as a male, um, giving his perspective on what he sees in the community and how we can help our youth. So again, our youth wise up tomorrow. So far over 170 participants. We're looking forward to it. Uh, we definitely want to thank all of our community partners and our sponsors as well for helping us have a successful event, which we're sure it will be. And we'll also like to give a special thanks to our financial contributors. Um, this would not be possible without you. Um, Her Care Inc., St. Croix Clinical Laboratories, and h, &H Tire. We really appreciate your support, not only of DVSAC um, and of our teens, but of the work that we do to end domestic violence and sexual assault in our territory. Thank you again. Thank you, Kanuma, and all the good work that you do. Don't go anywhere. We have more news right after this. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. And welcome back to News Channel 8. About 38 models of brilliantly designed green homes deck the interior of the science laboratory at John H. Woodson Junior High School. Students were tasked with creating the prototype green homes for a classroom project and as part of the U.S. Department of Energy's Homes for Humanity program. Habitats for Humanity is actually a program I think that was started during the Jimmy Carter administration and I think the Jimmy Carter Foundation still administers it. They actually go out into different countries in the world and they build homes for people who are in need. My name is Giovanni Barnes. I'm Malachi Miller. And this is our project located in Buenos Aires, Argentina. In Buenos Aires, Argentina, the temperature is around 60 degrees Fahrenheit at the average, so it's pretty cold, so we insulated the walls to keep in the heat. These are lights she made at the side of her house, but she used, um, she cut off Q-tips and stuck the Q-tips out to represent the light. I don't know if you can get in here, but if you can actually get in here, you can see, look at the bathroom, she used foam for the, um, she used foam to make like a toilet bowl and a tub and shower and I mean they really went all out. One in three women die of heart attack, disease, and stroke each year. Today, February 6th, is National Wear Red Day with Go Red for Women. Here is Pastor Jermaine Mully with that and also Second Sunday event. It's a boy, it's a brother, it's a nephew, it's a cousin, it's your uncle, it's a mentor, it's a mentee. It's me, Mully. It's Jermaine Mully. I just want to tell you about two things that I feel is very important for us in this community. First thing. Today is the 12th annual National Go Red Day. Yeah, that's right, Go Red Day. Today is that day in which we stand in solidarity with every woman in this world wearing the color red. As you can see, I have a little red in my bow tie. But today marks the day in which we are signifying that we're standing up with a woman who are struggling with the number one and catch us the number five killer of all women. Number one being heart disease, number five being strokes. So today is that day for you to just spread the awareness. This is a massive public awareness that we're trying to spread, that we need to 
take, take, take heart in what we're doing for our heart and what we're doing in this community as it pertains to life and as it pertains to the community. Second thing, since we're talking about the heart, as we know, we all need a good word. We all need to be edified and encouraged in season when we're feeling weary. This Sunday at Beeston Hill, yes, Beeston Hill Wesleyan Holiness Church. But I'm not just trying to invite you to church. I'm trying to invite you to hear the word of God. What is God saying in this season concerning your life? This Sunday, second Sunday, the youths at Beeston Hill will be doing something just for you. And I will be administering, delivering the word of God for the people of God. So let's come through, hear what God has to say concerning your life and concerning your soul. This is beyond just a, a building. This is about community. God bless. Thank you, Pastor Mully. Always doing something great in the community. Keep up the good work. Phil and Davis from Metallic Muscle have announced that there will be a community bike ride and beach day at 8 a.m. this Sunday. Here is a look. Good evening, St. Croix. Um, this is Mr. Metallic, a.k.a. Phil and Davis, and this is my next PR person. Oh, hi, Tiffany James. How y'all doing? Uh, today we're bringing to you uh, our new event. It's our third event. It's uh, our bike ride, our community bike ride and beach day. And uh, we'll be riding from the pool, the pavilion, the police pavilion to the Fredericksted Pool, the Vincent Mason Pool. Uh, this is uh, something that we really wanted to do. This is something that we really know going to bring out a lot of uh, support and a lot of people. And St. Croix has accepted this well. So if you haven't registered as yet, you should come on out and register. It's um, $10 to ride with us, and then you go to the pool and you're going to have a blast. Uh, we meet at 8 o'clock, but if you have any reason to come early, like late registration or get your bike adjusted, you can come a little earlier. We're going to be there. But come on out and support uh, Metallic Muscle M2 as we promote our third event, as we shoot forward for uh, promoting health and fitness in the VI, starting right here in St. Croix. Uh, when we kick it off, we're going to head on down to the Vincent Mason Pool where we're going to meet for the rest of the day. We're going to have an awesome time. There's going to be food, drinks, um, music. There's going to be raffle prizes, announcements. It's going to be a great, great day. Uh, feel free to come on out if you have a bike. Dust it off, wipe it down, bring it out. If you don't have one, borrow one, rent one. I mean, just you cannot miss it. You cannot miss it on February 8th, which is this Sunday, 8 a.m., Kick it off. Yes, definitely come out. It'll definitely be a good time. Bring your family. The kids will have a great time. Um, if you have your own bike, can they, they can use their own oh, bike, Oh, yeah, correct? they can use their own bike. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like Phil said, go ahead and meet at the pavilion early. Get your registration on because they're still doing registration. Yeah. And um, in reference to the bike fees? Um, yes, it's just $10. Um, you sign up for $10. Uh, we already have a bike list, about approximately 20 bikes rented. So uh, we know for sure that it's going to be a great ride. So come on out, have a great time. Look forward to um, a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of, of food, <laughs> and good food. music. It doesn't matter how big or small you are, just come on out, you know, and have a great time. Oh, yeah, we're here for everyone, and um, it's a health and fitness program, Metallic Muscle M2. We love you. Stay tuned. We have more news coming up next. This newscast has been sponsored by Mario's Virgin Crystal. Let us save you the hassle of lugging those jugs around. Purified bottled water conveniently delivered to your home or office. Also available in your favorite grocery store. Call 773-2810. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. And finally tonight, here is David with your Firewalk details. Firewalkers, are you ready? Come, let's go for a walk. We starting at 5 o'clock. You walk at your own pace because there's not a race. This is the time that we just start doing our walk, walking from this time in the morning, and by the time we finish, the sunlight is up. We're starting from Wendy's, February 7th, to Juni's Bar, to Spartan, shooting range, back to Wendy's. I repeat, Wendy's, Juni's Bar, to Spartan, shooting range, back to Wendy's. Remember, you have to be there by 4.30. 4.45 is warm-up time, and we leave exactly 5 a.m. sharp. You need to walk with at least one bottle of water. Why? 
for those of you that don't like to drink water, at least you can sip on the water. Because remember, you're putting out, so you need to put back in. And don't wait until your doctor tells you to walk. Why? Because your doctor is walking. And if he's walking to better his health, why well, you can't walk to better your health? This week, we had the cardiac symposium on St. Croix. You know what it is that we're talking about? Cholesterol, high blood pressure, and diabetes. And stress, most of all. And more stress. You, in the chair, you need to come on out and start working with the fire workers. Why? Because everybody is saying they're feeling good. So we want you to start feeling good. So see you there. Stay with us. We have your weather coming up next. Your weather coming up next. Your weather. Now here's a look at your five-day weather forecast. Tonight, scattered showers, mainly after 8 p.m. Partly cloudy with the low around 73. East-northeast wind, 7 to 9 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. New precipitation amounts of less than a tenth of an inch possible. On Saturday, scattered showers, mainly before noon. Mostly sunny with a high near 86. East northeast wind, 8 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. New precipitation amounts of less than a tenth of an inch possible. On Saturday night, partly cloudy with a low around 73. East wind around 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. New precipitation amounts of less than a tenth of an inch possible. On Sunday, isolated showers, mostly sunny with a high near 86. East wind 15 to 17 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 20%. On Sunday night, isolated showers, partly cloudy with the low around 73. East wind around 16 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 20%. And on Monday, isolated showers, mostly sunny with a high near 86. Southeast wind around 14 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 20%. This is Cheryl Francis with your Channel 8 News Weather. Well, it brings us to a close of another fantastic Bowtie Friday. That's a look at what's happening here in our territory. On the behalf of News Channel 8 TV and WSVI, I want to say thank you for tuning in. I'm Junior Garcia, and World News is up next. Good night, Virgin Islands. News Channel 8 is brought to you by Body Beast. Call in the Virgin Islands, 1-800-458-6815 for Body Beast. This program is the real deal. If you knew me a while ago and you see me today, you'd be like, man, what are you doing? I'm doing Body Beast. I decided to try Body Beast because I was looking for something different. I wanted to lose weight at the same time gain muscle. It's easy.